Welcome everyone, one and all, to my reaction to Season 1, Episode 1 of Team Wolf, Wolf Moon. So, we have a new show on our hands, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not that I didn't expect Team Wolf to win the poll, because I know that it's a very popular show, but I did not expect it to win by that much, so that just says to me that this is gonna be a fun ride, you know, knowing that people love it that much. I'm excited but that being said i have been pre-warned by my friend that the cgi in season one at least maybe season two as well is a little bit rough so don't worry i'm not expecting some fucking masterpiece of cgi so going into it with a clear mind going in with my own opinions seeing how i feel about it i did mention that we are gonna see how season one goes and then we'll see if we continue that being said the likelihood is that we will continue it's just that I don't want to risk doing like six seasons, seasons, six seasons of a show if season one just doesn't blend well with me, you know, if I'm not fully linked into the show, then we'll see how we feel. But the likelihood is that we will continue it. So make sure you comment down below how you're feeling, if you think that this show's a good idea and just give me a general vibe of how you're feeling, you know, but yeah, getting into Team Wolf itself, I don't know a lot about the show. I know more about the cast than I do the actual show. Obviously, main cast, Dylan O'Brien, absolutely beautiful human being, beautiful actor. I've loved him for many years, but it's funny because I've loved him for many years, but not from his most well-known thing, <laughs> you know? Like I loved him in Maze Runner, the fucking all too well 10 minute video beautiful and yeah i'm just really excited to see his performance in this knowing that it was his like was it his breakout role or was it just his like it must be because it's what people know him for but yeah in terms of the other cast i know that tyler posey is on it is that how you pronounce his name i'm not actually sure i've only ever seen it written and then just a handful of others who i'm not too familiar with the names but i know a lot about the cast know who's in it but honestly storyline wise i've got no fucking clue I know that it's to do with werewolves, but how those laws work in universe, what the storylines will be, who the villains are going to be, I ain't got a clue. So I'm very excited to go into this blind and just get a feel right off the bat, you know? But yes, with that said, very excited to get into it and see how it goes. So without further ado, let's go. Ooh. I'm so excited. It's been a while since we started the new show. Nice house. Giving me Twilight vibes with just how it's like surrounded by forest. <laughs> what sport is that? I don't actually know. Is it lacrosse? Is that Tyler? Po oh my God, he looks so young. That's crazy. Jesus Christ. Stop, what the hell are you doing? You weren't answering your phone. Is that Why Dylan? They're so young. So my dad leave 20 minutes ago. Dispatch called. They're bringing in every officer from the Beacon Department and even state police. For what? Werewolves. Two joggers found a body in the woods. Body in the woods. I feel like a wolf might be involved. Hold on. If Bless. they found the body, then what are they looking for? That's the best part. They only found half. Huh? We're going. Broski, why are you so excited about this? I would be freaked the fuck out. What if whoever killed the body is still out here? Also something I didn't think about. How is that not something you didn't think about? That would be my first thought. Huh? Oh my Christ. Hang on, hang on. This little delinquent belongs to me. <laughs> where's your usual partner in crime? Scott? Scott, Scott okay. Scott's home. Scott, you out there? Well, young man, I'm gonna walk you back to your car and you and I... We're gonna have a conversation about something called invasion of privacy. Slight issue, you've left him in the woods though. How's he getting home? Oh god, he's alone in the woods. I know that he's one of the core characters, so I'm not scared for his safety, but I don't know how werewolves work in this universe. If you get bit, do you turn into one, you know? Like, that's something that I'm really excited about, to be honest. Finding out the laws of the universe, because the main instances of werewolves that I have to my memory are Harry Potter, Vampire Diaries, and Twilight. They're like the main universes that I've seen werewolves and what comes to mind when I think of a werewolf. But they all have very different ideas of what a werewolf is and very different laws around how it works. So very interested to find out more about this. Oh god, I don't like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bit of a weird shot. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a camera focus on an inhaler like that. Oh my god! 
That is fucking horrendous. Bloody hell. That's, that took me back a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. What the fuck? Shit. Oh. oh. Okay, he's good right now. Jesus Christ. Did he get scratched or something? Oh, he got bit, Broski. I'm calling it now. You're going to be a werewolf. If that's even what they call them, they might call them something different in this universe. I just know that wolves are involved. Turning into wolves is a thing. All right, mate. Dude, watch the paint job. Oh, bro, go fuck yourself. Nah, 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 nah. No, you're already on my naughty list. <laughs> naughty list? A wolf bit you. Huh? No, not a chance. <laughs> Wolf oh, it's a chunky bite, bro. What do you think it was? There are no wolves in California. Yeah. Uh, well, if you don't believe me about the wolf, know. then you're definitely not going to believe me about when I tell you I found the body. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Why is he excited? I mean, this is seriously going to be the best thing that's happened to this town since since the birth of Lydia Martin. Hey, Lydia. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I'd be uncomfortable if I was her and I heard that. <laughs> oh, okay. First point of powers, superhero. Mom, three calls on my first day is a little overdoing it. Oh my god. That goes far. Oh my god, I didn't actually forget a pen. Ah. I love that. Okay, so a couple of things to point out from that though. So we now have confirmation that one of the powers of being a werewolf is that you have enhanced hearing. Now I do wonder the extent of the rest of the powers when it comes to transforming, though. Because there are many different universes with many different laws when it comes to werewolves. Some have the whole, every full moon you turn into a wolf. Some have it where it's just completely up to you. You can change whenever you want. So very intrigued to find out what this universe's rules are on that. But very exciting that we're like, we're actually beginning the show, beginning someone's journey as a werewolf you know so i always like those kind of things where people they're completely out of the blue they don't understand what's going on they have no idea what's happening to them and it's just like you're discovering it with them in real time thanks <laughs> we'll begin with kafka's metamorphosis oh god here we go oh <laughs> uh, she was confused because she said she didn't have a pen okay Broski, don't stare. Okay, she's taking it well. Okay. <laughs> Can someone tell me how New Girl is here all of five minutes and she's already hanging out with Lydia's click? <laughs> because she's hot. Unfortunately, that probably is true. Paul's joking again. This boy here's lacrosse. Lacrosse, okay. You don't often get that, like, the nerdy outcasts play. are playing the, like, popular sport, you know? Scoring some shots will give the boys a confidence boost. It's first day back thing. Get them energized. Fired up. What about me? Try not to take any in the face. <laughs> well, you seem like a bit of an asshole, but... <laughs> good, is he about to have, like, good reflexes or something? Nice. <laughs> huh. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> I think he's going to have really good reflexes. Oh, God, here he comes. He's threatened. Oh, no. Broski, you're going to be fine. How hard is he about to throw this thing? Nice. Let's go. People like that guy is so annoying. Like, if you're actually the team captain, you care about the team, and that's what's actually important to you, you'd be fucking excited right now that this guy's gonna be your, like, goalie. This guy's gonna actually help you fucking win. You wouldn't be sat there being threatened because, what, he's got the attention of your girl? Like, oh, I just, I can't stand men like this. I understand that they're in high school and all of that, and so it's expected, but, ugh. So, all this started with the bite. What if it's, like, an infection, like... My body's flooding with adrenaline before I go into shock or something. I don't think it's flooding with adrenaline, but I do think it's an infection. What kind of infection? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's called lycanthropy. Oh, you're joking, but you're right. <laughs> okay, obviously I'm kidding. 
But if you see me in shop class trying to melt all the silver I can find, it's because Friday's a full moon. Oh, yeah, the whole silver thing. I wonder if that's going to be true. Maybe the killer moved the body. Yeah. Dude, I hope you left my inhaler. Those things are like 80 bucks. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I know that he's in this. Tyler something, isn't that? Is he the wolf? This is private property. We were just looking for something, but... Ah. Uh. I think he's the wolf. That was way too dodgy. I know he's a staple character as well. You remember, right? He's only like a few years older than this. Remember what? His family? They all burned to death in a fire like 10 years ago. Huh? Bloody hell, bless his heart. That's also a good point though. Was the killing of the girl unintentional? Because if we look at the Vampire Diaries and their version of werewolves, we know that wolves basically have no control over themselves when they turn. So they might go and kill someone even if they don't mean to. Are we going along those lines or are we going along the lines of you're in complete control and that werewolf intended to kill that girl for some reason? Is it going to be like fully healed? Yeah. Okay. Advanced healing as well. Nice. Interesting. I took my eyes out the room for like two seconds to change the song of my eye, but it's in this dog. It just came out of nowhere. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, my darling. You okay? She's just frightened. That makes two of us. <laughs> Let's see if I have any better luck. Ooh. Ooh. Intriguing. Control over dogs. Or maybe not necessarily control, but a way to calm them. I have a shirt in my bag. Oh, I don't want to trouble you. Here. <laughs> Classic romance. <laughs> Little bit of a cliche, but I'll let him off. It was 2011. <laughs> I don't know, because I freaked out like a total girl. You, you hit a, a dog, of course you're going to freak out. I that was a girly girl, and I'm not a girly girl. Let's not put down other women, my darling, but I understand where you're coming from. See? She likes you. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Thanks. It's so, like, cliche teen romance. <laughs> Is it really family night on Friday? Do you think maybe you'd like to go to that party with me? How did you hear that? Family night was a total lie. So is that a yes, you'll go? Definitely yes. <laughs> oh, that's cute. If I was her, I'd be a little bit freaked out as to how he knows that, but... <laughs> oh, he blacked out. He blacked out. Okay, nice touch. I love the way they shot that. Wow. Leans over and he's waking up in a completely different environment. Oh shit, okay. Will he attack if he knows that he's also a wolf though? Where are you? Are we in like a river? <laughs> Bless your heart, mate. How about you tell me where you're getting your juice? Huh? What? Where are you? getting your juice i know he's talking about drugs but like why shopping. you're gonna tell me exactly what it is and who you're buying it from because there's no way in hell you're out there kicking ass in the field like that without some sort of chemical boost brusky like are you that insecure really like calm the fuck down you're on the same fucking team so would i because i can see here and smell things that i shouldn't be able to see here and smell i do things that should be impossible i'm sleepwalking three miles into the middle of the woods and i'm pretty much convinced that i'm totally out of my freaking mind Okay, that was a lot of things built up there. <laughs> I know you're hiding something. I'm gonna find out what it is. I don't care how long it takes. Okay, calm down. I've already found my least favorite character. You found animal hairs on the body from the woods. Guys, I gotta go. Wait, no, Scott, you're not gonna believe what the animal was. A wolf. It was a wolf. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Interesting that the hairs are of a wolf then. Like, it's not of like a completely different creature, you know? Nice. Oh my god. Flipping over, throwing the ball. You're the best player they fucking got. Trying out for the gymnastics team? No, coach. What the hell was that? That was playing know. like a fucking beast. Trying to make the shot. Yeah, well, you made the shot. And guess what? You made the team. You're starting, buddy. 
Okay. Nice. Okay. He was just... That's how he's expressing himself. Okay. I read him wrong. <laughs> I thought he was annoyed. I was like, Broski, calm down. <laughs> he's actually researching it now. He's like, wait a damn minute. I was fucking joking. I started doing all this reading. Do you even know why a wolf howls? Should I? It's a signal. Okay, well, when a wolf's alone, it howls to signal its location to the rest of the pack. Okay. So if you heard a wolf howling, that means others could have been nearby. I mean, maybe in a whole mm. pack of them. A whole pack of wolves? True, I didn't really think about the whole pack aspect. Maybe there's more than one. And there's the vision and the senses. And don't even think I don't notice that you don't need your inhaler okay. anymore. Dude, I can't think uh, about this now. Didn't even think about that. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Wait, no, the full moon's tonight. Don't you okay, sorry to pause, but like that that means something completely different then. So it's it's physically altering his body to make it so that he doesn't even need his inhaler anymore. So what does it does it make you basically like peak health of a human? What happens when it comes to like diseases or things like cancer? Like is this something that fully heals you and makes your body invulnerable in that sense? Even though I assume you can probably die. Many questions. You gotta cancel Ooh. this date. You gotta call it right now. What are you doing? I'm canceling the date. No, give it to me. Oh, Broski. <sighs> yeah, you sensing that something's wrong now? I'm sorry. I gotta go get ready for that party. Mm-hmm. He's definitely in the stage of denial right now. I'm sorry. We know you're sorry. You didn't mean to, but that's the whole point. You didn't mean to, and yet you had some huge anger outburst that I assume is not common for you. Oh. So I did, like, some claws come out there? Allison. Nice. Thank you. We don't need to have a talk, do we? <laughs> oh, I'm not having a safe sex talk with you. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I meant about keeping the tank full. Give me those back. I'm not going to end up on some reality television show with a- My darling, you literally said the phrase that everyone knows. That's so annoying. <laughs> yep. Sick. Full confirmation then. Okay. Speaking of, speaking of werewolves being pack animals though, if that guy turned him- does that mean that that guy is the alpha? Like, how do the pack rules work in this world? Because Derek seems to know that something is up with Scott. Like, they're exchanging these looks, there are these feelings there, like some kind of tension. So I assume he knows what he did, but then Scott didn't remember anything when he came back from being a wolf. So maybe this guy can just send- <sighs> Pulse raising. Okay. Yo, Scott, you good? Styles. <laughs> Allison. I'm a friend of Scott's. Ah. What's your, what's your fucking game plan here, Derek? What's going on? You vanish when you're looking at him. You show up right when he leaves. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let me in, Scott. I can help. No. Listen, you gotta find Allison. She's fine. All right. I saw her get a ride from the party. She's. Who gave her the ride? Let me in. We can talk. It's Derek. Derek hails the werewolf. He's the one that bit me. He's the one that killed the girl in the woods. Is Scott, that why he took Allison? Derek's the one who drove Allison from the party. Oh, God. This is what I mean. It's like, is Derek as not in control as Scott is? Is he not able to control himself when it comes to attacking people and potentially killing them or is he doing it intentionally like was he actually taking allison home because he knew that scott wouldn't be able to because he knows what's going to happen to scott tonight or was he taking allison to go and fucking murder her he seems to be a lot more in control than scott is though because we've seen him change into his form a couple of times now ew <laughs> oh okay Okay, so we're not gonna have like a full-on transformation. We're sort of like halfway there. Hi, Mrs. Argent. Um. Oh no, she's not home. You know what? Crazy doesn't Allison? even describe. It's for you. Okay. Fuck yeah. I think he was taking her home. I don't think he's intentionally. I don't think he's an evil guy. You know. What did you do with her? Quiet. Too late. Nobody here. Run. Ooh. Who? The rest of the pack. 
Oh, were they like wolf hunters? Take him. Nice. Good job. Maybe the girl who was murdered was a wolf and she was killed by them, or maybe she was working with the hunters. I got way too many questions now. Who were they? Hunters. Kind of been hunting us for centuries. Us? You mean you? You did this to me? Yeah. You've been given something that most people would kill for. Bite is a gift. I don't want it. You will. And you're going to need me if you want to learn how to control it. So you and me, Scott, we're brothers now. I mean, he's got a point. You are going to need him, so. You know what actually worries me the most? You say Allison, I'm going to punch you in the head. <laughs> he hates me now. <sighs> oh, my, bro, you've got far more things to worry about. Come on. If I have to, I'll chain you up myself on full moon nights and feed you live mice. Aww. I had a bowl once. I could do it. You got a friend for life there, mate. So what happened? You left me stranded at the party. Yeah, Uh-oh. I, I know. I'm really sorry. I am. Can you just find it in your heart to trust me on this one? Am I going to regret this? Probably. At <laughs> least he's honest. It's my dad. Oh. Uh, Dad's going to be the hunter. Dad is going to be the hunter. Yep. Does he know? No, he doesn't know. Okay. Oh my God. Ah, it went to the next episode before I was even fucking ready. Okay. Wow. What a great start to a series. Give me a couple of minutes and then we will chat about it. So yes, there we have season one, episode one of Team Wolf. And that was a fantastic opener to the series. I really appreciated how we focused a lot on Scott and Styles' relationship this episode. And that was a great way of introducing us not only to their dynamic as two people who are the best of friends, but also it allowed us to look at them as individuals a lot better. Because I find when people are around their friends, like their true friends, not social friends where they act like a different person when you're around your true friends you truly get to see someone in their best light you get to see their true self you know so really appreciate that we started the show off in that regard and i also like i said in the episode i like that we're starting the journey of the show with scott at the same time you know like yeah we do have derek who is already a werewolf and we're going to be learning from him but we are following scott and he is being introduced to the universe just as we are being introduced to it so really like that touch i do wonder where we're going to go as the season goes on because i know that there are like a core cast of people who are in the show for a while like i've got a couple of faces in my mind that i haven't seen yet and so i do wonder if this like pack of wolves is gonna grow is derek already part of a pack or is he on his own and we're gonna like create our own like will styles eventually be a werewolf will some of the other characters that we saw this episode be joined to the pack just really interested to find out more about that and to see the universe develop as we go through this season and the seasons after now in terms of least favorite characters jackson has taken the fucking cake on that one really don't like they're like they're the stereotypical annoying high school jock that i just they'll forever be like the most annoying characters for me i hate them so much they're just always so full of themselves they're always so insecure and on that same note though i can't remember her name i've got the cast up right now it might be lydia but the actress looks a bit different now so i can't really connect the face but i think it's lydia and i just really didn't like how she was behaving towards scott at the party like she was making out with um jackson but she was looking over at scott the whole time as if like she wanted him what because he's good at lacrosse is that the only reason that you seek these guys out it just i think it really painted her in a bad light so i want to get to know her a bit more hopefully her character advances beyond just popular pretty high school girl who's always with the most popular guy you know that stereotypical romance so hope we see a change in her character as she seems a little bit one-dimensional the same as jackson in that sense like they've just fit their roles perfectly so excited to see the universe develop and get to know these characters more i mean we're literally on episode one we've hardly had enough time with any of them to make any proper judgments but i am starting to get a feel of who i like and who i dislike i think favorite character so far is probably styles and it might be because of dylan o'brien i'm gonna be completely honest it might just be that i've latched on to dylan o'brien and because i love him so much 
it's easy to love styles but the character himself does seem to be really fun and enjoyable he's just a bit all over the place lots of energy and it's just nice to see his relationship with scott because they seem to be really good friends and you can tell that he really cares for him i did also pick up on the fact that he mentioned adderall so i wonder if we are going to go down the route of him actually having adhd because that could also be really cool to see and already picking up on some of the stereotypical signs of adhd but I hope that if they are going down that route, it is done well and it's not just like, oh, he's high energy and all over the place because it affects you in so many different ways. So very intrigued to find out more about his character overall, but really liking the direction that we're going so far. But yeah, with that said though, that was episode one. For patrons, I'm going to be watching episode two right now. I'm probably gonna do it in a separate post, but it'll be posted at the same time. So head over there if you want to watch that as well. But for YouTube peeps, I'm making it my fucking goal to get back into weekly uploads for all of my shows it'll be team wolf the vampire diaries the originals and then i'm gonna try and get a fourth slot as well i'm thinking i might start uploading my merlin reactions in like chunks because i know that merlin is a very hard one to get on youtube so i might do like episodes season one episode one to four for example in one video and just chop it up a bit you know because i feel like that's the only way that i can really get it out but yeah team wolf is my goal one a week so fucking pray for me and get me to do it you know but with that said that was absolutely fantastic loving the world building so far and yeah just excited to explore it more but for now thank you very much for watching i've left a link down below to my patreon we'll be able to find the early and uncut reactions to team wolf and all the other shows that i do also left a link to my twitch my discord and my socials so be sure to follow them if you are interested in jess thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye